Back in 1787 in Philadelphia, one of the greatest ideas that the human race ever had was launched. It was the creation of the United States of America with our new constitution. In that hot summer day of September of that year, the first person to leave the Constitutional Convention Hall was Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin was the oldest of the 55 delegates to the convention. When he exited the hall, a woman approached him and asked a very important question. She said, Dr. Franklin, what kind of government have you given us? Was George Washington going to be like the king and be a monarch? Was there going to be a democracy that was full and open? Nobody really knew. Franklin looked the young woman squarely in the eye and uttered what was known as the Franklin Challenge. He said, if you can keep it. Throughout human history, any attempt at making the people the sovereign, giving the people the power, even if it did occur, did not last very long from the Roman Empire forward. So Benjamin Franklin and the other great men who served in that Constitutional Convention understood that this was indeed an experiment. President Ronald Reagan once said that freedom is not guaranteed and we could lose it in one generation. And you know, today we probably feel that sentiment more than ever. If we allow the hate America, blame America left to win control of America, freedom will die in our great country. President Trump believes patriotism is important. American citizens, both young and old and all generations, know the glorious truth about our nation. And if they do know the truth, then they will keep freedom as our burning light. The enemy within America is determined to destroy the truth. Those enemies on the left want to transfer or change America into a state where freedom is swept into the dustbin of history. We the people will never allow that nightmare to happen if we know the truth. President Trump's salute to America was a patriotic and educational event to promote the truth for the American people. Those on the left and their co-conspirators in the media attempted to tear down this great event because they knew the American people would love the message. The New York Times went as far as releasing a video criticizing America to counter the president's effort. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo recently said, we can't make America great again because America never was great. Many on the left like Bernie Sanders and Barack Obama claimed that America is not the greatest country in the world. I ask a simple question. If America is not the greatest country in the world, which country is the greatest country in the world? Iran, Russia, Cuba, China? President Obama claimed that America was not exceptional. America invented the idea of exceptionalism. The president tells the truth about America's success, and with the Salute to America celebration, he made it clear to hundreds of millions of people in America and around the world. The left and the media criticized the use of tanks and military equipment and flyovers for the salute event. They claimed that that kind of display is something that dictators promote. President Eisenhower and President Kennedy featured military equipment in both of their inaugural parades. After the Persian Gulf War, victory, tanks, and military units rumbled down Pennsylvania Avenue. Every American should know that it was the military success in the Revolutionary War that founded America. And it was our great military and heroic men and women that saved the world from dictators and allowed freedom to grow around the globe. The president wanted to remind us that if America did not exist, what kind of world would exist today? Think about that. It would be a world that the left might be proud of because it would be a world without freedom. The Salute to America was an event that told the true story of the land of the free and the home of the brave. Millions of people attempt to enter America every year. You do not witness citizens of the world attempting to enter China, Russia, or Cuba, or Iran. The left media attack what they wrongfully call climate deniers. You know, it's about time we started challenging America's greatness deniers. Today, Ben Franklin's words ring true. This generation understands what the great man's warning to future descendants of the revolution 
was all about, that we must be vigilant. The torch has been passed to we, the people of this generation, to preserve America that so many fallen heroes have fought to save so that it would live on for future generations and our posterity. That's what President Trump's salute to America was all about. I'm Pat McDonough.